Hey Vehicles! Welcome back to me as... I'm a bit of in my teeth, that's gross. Hey Vehicles! Welcome back to me as live. Today I'm going to be reacting to your DMs. I've been asking my stories lately for video ideas and this is a video idea that you guys have been asking for so much. I have a lot of DMs. I don't really tend to look at my DMs that often. I'm more like to respond to your comments like my public posts. This girl said, hi Mia, I know that it is random, but what is your favorite fruit? I think my favorite fruit is probably passion fruit or mango. I like the lychee too, kind of like tropical ones. Hannah said, hey Mia, I have watched and loved yours and your family videos for many years now and I have grown up with them. You really are so inspiring and I really admire how you have all traveled around the world. I think it's amazing and I would love to be able to do that myself in the future. I currently live in Isle of Man, which is such a gorgeous place. I hope you are all well. Hannah Rose. Aw, thank you. That is such a sweet message. And yeah, it definitely is really fun to be able to travel around. And if you are able to do it, I definitely would recommend trying to prioritize like experiences. I feel like traveling makes you grow so much as a person. Like it's definitely like helped me be more understanding with people, like other cultures and realizing that people do everything differently. And my traveling memories are like my my most memorable experiences and I'm never gonna be able to forget them. Katie, hey Mia, I have just moved to France from Scotland and hardly speak any French. I've been following your family blog since you were called Vegan Family Fitness TV. Wow, that is a long time. That was like when I was 11. And I saw that you mostly taught yourself Spanish as well as living in Spanish speaking places. Do you know what method was best when learning Spanish for you? I would love to gain as good of a fluency in French that you have in Spanish. Thanks, Mia. What really helped me um, learn Spanish was living in like Spanish speaking countries like Spain and Mexico and here, Costa Rica. Since you've moved to France, like just try and put yourself in situations where you have to speak French. Start just trying to like immerse yourself in the language as much as you can and um, you could do flashcards. I would recommend apps like Duolingo if you're like super basic, but then if you're more advanced. When we weren't living in Spanish speaking countries, because I've been learning Spanish for like four or five years now. And for the gaps when we weren't living in Spanish speaking countries to keep my level, I was having like a one-on-one -on -one tutor. And I definitely recommend that if you aren't living in that country. Like with a native speaker, like having one-on-one -on -one lessons, it's, it's yeah. Even now, like living in a, that country, I would even recommend having lessons if you like really wanna push yourself. Watch films, listen to music in that language, like just basically you have to put a lot of time and effort into it. And learning Spanish at the moment isn't like one of my biggest priorities. So I haven't been putting like a ton of effort into trying to learn it. So my Spanish is kind of like, I feel like it's kind of just like the same. I'm like very, conversational. I can communicate anything I want and like get my point across. But sometimes when people speak to me, I can like start to overthink. My issue with my Spanish is that I start to like panic a little bit if someone's speaking to me in Spanish and I like know that I need to be able to understand what they're saying or if I'm with my friends, I like sometimes it gets like overwhelming. Hi Mia, so my friend needs a training bra but she doesn't know how to tell her mum so can you give me some tips so I can tell her and I hope you notice this. I don't think I ever actually asked my mum for a training bra. I was starting to get to that age and I was developing so I needed it and my mum noticed that I needed it. We were in a shop or something like clothes shopping and then she was like oh you should get this. She can maybe say like about how she's noticed like if some of her friends have gotten training bras that can make her want one as well. So maybe she could like mention to her mum like oh I saw my friend has a training bra. She could maybe say like maybe do you think I would need one or something like that. I don't know just say it. I, I know it can be embarrassing because I remember when I was especially like when you're just starting puberty those things can be very like or like nerve-wracking especially to tell your parents about it but just remember your mum has been for it as well like she's a girl and she understands like it's not that big a deal when you look back on it but then at that time it feels like a big deal so I, I totally understand. I'm confused <laughs> by this DM. I've spent over $15,000 on real shoes until I found this account. Their reps are all the same as real shoes, so now I've been buying reps from them. I'm done giving my hard earned money, paying resale to little rich kids. Okay, cool. So these are fakes, I'm gonna guess. They're just telling me a good place to buy fake shoes from. I think that's what reps, reps means 
replicas, right? This seems quite spammy. Scarlett said, I love your book in you. Aw, thank you. And she sent a picture of my book. That's really sweet. I'm glad that you like it. And I see that you've got your little bookmark in. So you're like halfway through, it looks like. So I hope you're enjoying it. Can I be your girl's friend? Yes or no? I'm sorry, but I don't know you. So that would be weird. And also I'm, I don't want a boyfriend anyways. I'm not old enough for that. So no, but I wish you luck on finding a girlfriend. Hi, I don't know if you will respond, but I love you so much from India by a 12 year old. Aw, thank you, that's sweet, I love you too. Hi, wow Mia, your shoes on your story are so, I'm in love with them so much. Aw, thank you, where did you get them? I need them ASAP, please tell me. I love the chunky look and the Hello Kitty design. Me too, I'm gonna show you which shoe she means. So these shoes, are the love of my life too. So many DMs ask me where I got these from. So I recently got these when I was in San Jose. I got them from Bershka when I was trying to get like the look clothes for my turning myself into Doja Cat and I felt like these looked like something she would wear. And I absolutely love them as well. They're literally gorgeous. I love your new hair color, go girl. Aw, thank you. I'm really liking my new hair color as well. Haha, <laughs> Mia, I feel the same way when I look back at pics when I was 12, 13. I remember watching you when you were like this. I just started Started watching your family in July 2017. Wow, that is a long time ago. And yeah, I posted this picture to my story like a month ago, and I was just laughing about my style in this video because the hair, I've got it in like this side pony, I've got the fringe, and then I've got this like bright red lipstick on, and then I've got this like choker, which was like really trendy back then. It was a questionable outfit. I don't know if you read your messages. I'm reading them now. I saw your video where you got your helix piercing. I also wanted it for a very long time, and you encouraged me to get it. I got it today and I'm very happy. Thank you. Ah, I'm glad that you got it. I hope it's gone well since this was from quite a while ago. My helix has been absolutely fine. It never gave me any issues and I absolutely love it. I think it's probably one of my favorite piercings. I feel like helix piercings just look so pretty and elegant. What are you doing for Halloween? Do you want to come to my mate's party? I am looking at this like two years too late. Thanks for inviting me, I guess. I just watched your eyebrow video and I know the pain of being a redhead and having no brows. Super annoying, yeah. It's the worst. Hey Mia, I'm a big fan. I wanna know what are the products you put on your hair, like shampoo and your deep conditioner, oils, hair mask, and cream. Please let me know my hair is in a really frizzy state. My head gets mm, not super frizzy, but it does get frizzy sometimes. I wash it like two times a week because I just bleached my hair pretty recently. I'm like really trying to let it be natural, not wash it too much. Um, I am using a deep conditioner. This is the one I'm using. I've only just started using it since I, I bought it like from the hair salon when I bleached my hair to like repair it. But before that I didn't really use a hair mask or anything. I just used a shampoo and conditioner. These are the ones. I change it all the time but I do like OGX. It's a good brand. Hi, how are you? I have something I want to ask you. Sorry I didn't see your message. Um, I'm great, thanks. That actually scared me. You actually scared me, Sienna. Did you come to Germany? I thought I saw you, please reply. No, I haven't been to Germany. I have been to Germany, but that was like back in like 2016 or something. I was like nine, but I didn't go to Germany in November 2019, so it must have been a lookalike. I'm sorry, but it, it wasn't me. Your mum's pregnant. This is June 2019, so I guess maybe... No, this is from June 2019, but <laughs> that was funny. Um, this must have been when she found out she was pregnant with Kara, I'm gonna guess. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> I was just wondering, what time do you usually go to sleep? Because I watched your YouTube video and 11pm was very late to you. I wish I could go to sleep early, but going to sleep at 2am is early for me. How do you go to bed at 2am? If I went to bed at 2am, I would not be able to function properly. Um, I normally go to bed at like half eight because I wake up very early as well though. I so I need to go to bed early because otherwise like I don't get enough sleep and when I don't get enough sleep, I can't like do anything other than think about sleeping, so. Carla, OMG, please tell me how you done the eyeliner. I love it so much. I don't want to try it out myself. I just need some tips on how to get it as flawless as you are. Sorry if I woke you up. You didn't wake me up, so don't worry, but thank you for the um, apology and thank you for the compliment on the eyeliner. This was a long time ago, this is DM. That eyeliner look, I can remember I really hated it and it came out so wrong. I think I tried to copy like a picture off Pinterest or something and I did not 
do it very well. Like I didn't recreate it very well. I don't think it looks good. And I did think it looked good back then, but I just spent so long in it. I didn't want to not post it, you know? Um, maybe I should try it again. Mia, this brand is using you to promote their clothing and I guess it is without your knowing. This is not the Stradivarius official brand. It's a Portuguese company I don't even know about. They're probably lying about the product. Sorry for bothering you with this. I absolutely love your family. No worries for bothering me. The funny thing is, um, I'm confused though because the picture she sent is of a woman who is not me holding a Stradivarius bag. So I'm confused, very confused. I think maybe she thinks that's me, but that doesn't make sense because my hair's not that red and it's just not me. Maybe she doesn't think it's me. I can't find that brand. This was from a long time ago anyways. Sometimes there are scammy people on the internet, so just be careful when you are buying stuff off the internet. Mia Donoto is my doppelganger. I get this actually a lot. I don't know if she gets it about me, but yeah, I mean, I guess we do look pretty similar. She seems like a really nice girl though. I'd like to be friends with her if she would be interested in me. <laughs> it's kind of weird that she, we have the same name. And I think that's why people think we look alike. It's because we have the same name and then we're both blonde. And then I guess we do look a bit alike, but not that alike. Hola mía, me encantan tus videos, siempre me hacen sonreír. I was wondering how can I get your book? I'm not from the States or the UK, I will love to purchase both. Are you going to sell to other countries anytime soon? Tons of love for you and your beautiful family from Chile. You can buy my books all over the world because um, they're on Amazon, so I feel like you're probably best going from Amazon US. Hi Mia, my name is Anne Sophie, I'm 16 years old and I live in Austria. I really admire you because you always think positive and you're so caring. Your destination to visit the Antarctic is just so cool. I really like traveling too, it's just so amazing. Maybe you want to visit Austria too. Yes, I'd love to visit Austria. I would love to meet you one day and I would love to share my thoughts with you. Aw, thank you, Anne. Yeah, I'd love to meet you one day too, maybe if I go to Austria. Yeah, I do really want to go to the Antarctic so much. Like, I still want to. And it's been like two years since I first like decided like I really wanted to and I still feel the same way. Celine sent me this image by Mia's Life Unofficial. That's a really pretty sketch. I, I really like that fan edit. That's a really cool like concept of like the sketch. Hey Mia, which cake flavor do you like better? Lemon or chocolate? Ooh, that's actually really tough. I'm quite like a, like I like citrus and like sour quite a lot. At the same time, you can't beat chocolate cake. I'm gonna go for chocolate. I'm sorry, you, you just can't beat chocolate cake. OMG Mia, why did you write something in German in your story? That's so cool, I'm from Germany. New hair looks absolutely amazing, I love it. Oh, thank you. And um, yeah, sometimes I just like to mix up and just write random stuff. I do like, in person, I will just like randomly say stuff that I know how to say in other languages. I really don't speak German at all. I have some friends who are from Germany, but I can only say like, thank you, like hello, and I can count to like, 20 or something, which I guess is all right. And I can say, um, it kais in me and my accent's probably terrible. You lucky my comment three days ago made my entire week, to be honest, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm glad that uh, I made you feel that way. I always try to like look at my comments and respond to you guys like on TikTok and Instagram and like all your comments. So they sent me a link to a video and I said, oops, sorry, wrong person. I know it's a YouTube link, but I'm still not gonna open like links from like DMs because I just, you shouldn't like open that random links. But they sent me a picture, this is my dog, do you think he is cute? And by the way, I'm a huge fan, I'm only 11. Aww, thank you Sienna, your dog is very adorable. I love him a lot. You might not see this, but today at school, my friend and I were in the library and we were watching the video of you falling off the fence and Darren barking like a pigeon. When is, I can't recall Darren barking like a pigeon, but I can definitely recall me falling off the fence. And we were dying and then we got kicked out and got in trouble by our head of year, but it was so worth it. Okay, maybe don't get kicked out of the school library for watching my videos and laughing so much, but I'm glad that you found it funny and that I provided you some entertainment and I'm glad you thought it was worth it. <laughs> I just saw your new video and I was a little shocked, but even Mia Korn's watch Miraculous. I'm so in love with that show and Kat Noor and Luca and everyone else. I thought I was the only one who knew that show and only one in love with Kat Noor. I remember Sienna used to sometimes watch it when she was like younger. When we moved to Gran Canaria, sometimes we'd watch, me and Sienna would watch like cartoons in Spanish so we could pick up more of the Spanish. And I remember that show used to be on all the time. So that's how come I know it. And like, I know people talk about it a lot on TikTok and stuff because I think people have, a, a lot of people have a crush on Cat Noir. Hi, my name is Maija. Maija? I guess you will never see this message. 
I'm saying it, but why not try? I'm really a big fan. By the way, your family is so amazing. Oh, thank you. I have a really cool idea for your YouTube that you could do. I'm really into fashion and I saw your story and I thought that you could do my followers slash fans style me for a week or style me in Siena. I don't know if you like that, but I thought I could share it with you. Oh, that's a cool idea. Thank you for your suggestion. And yeah, that sounds fun. That actually is like, yeah, maybe I should do that. Like getting you guys to style me. Let me know on my Instagram if you would like me to do this again. Maybe leave me some DMs just in case I do decide to do it again. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!